Hello. Welcome to Spiritual Growth Academy. Please remember to subscribe and like this video. That helps us be seen by more viewers like you. Let me know in the comments what videos you'd like to see next. Here we go. Feeling a little off balance? It might be time to explore the world of crystal healing. This ancient practice has gained popularity lately and can promote wellness and balance in the mind, body, and spirit. Choosing the right crystals is all about setting intentions. Do you need help with stress or emotional healing? Find the ones that speak to you. Before carrying your crystals around, cleanse and charge them. Cleansing removes negative energy and charging enhances their healing properties. Incorporate your crystals into your daily routine by wearing them as jewelry, placing them on your body, or using them in meditation and visualization practices. The top 10 crystals for beginners are clear quartz, amethyst, rose quartz, citron, black tourmaline, selenite, hematite, carnelian, fluorite, and blue lace agate. Crystal healing might sound a little woo-woo, but it's worth giving a shot. Keep an open mind and have some fun with it. These little guys are much more than just pretty rocks. Clear Quartz is the master healer. Amethyst is great for stress and emotional balance. Rose Quartz promotes love and self-care. Citrin is a great mood booster. Black Tourmaline is known for its grounding properties. Selenite clears negative energy. Hematite is great for circulation and energy flow. Carnelian is the crystal of creativity and motivation. Fluorite promotes mental clarity. And blue lace agate is the crystal of communication and self-expression. So, whether you wear them, hold them, or place them on your body, these little guys can bring a lot of positive energy into your life. Give crystal healing a try and see if it helps you find a little more balance in your daily routine. Remember to trust your intuition when choosing crystals and setting intentions. Everyone's experience with crystal healing is unique, so don't be afraid to experiment and find what works best for you. And let's not forget to have a little fun with it. Create a crystal grid or incorporate them into your arts and crafts projects. After all, who doesn't love a little DIY self-care? In conclusion, crystal healing is a holistic approach to wellness that can promote balance in the mind, body, and spirit. It might sound a little out there at first, but it's worth giving it a try. Who knows, you might discover a new love of crystals you never knew before. Thanks so much for stopping by. See you next time.